friends, welcome back to Life Princess Size with me, Pallavi. So, for the last few videos, we've been talking about all things to do with weddings. The wedding season is upon us. Wedding season is coming up, and now the wedding season is finally here. So, we spoke a lot about ways to save money for the big day. We spoke about dieting tips for the wedding season. We spoke about how to choose where to order your cards, blah blah blah. And now I'm doing this special video for all of you who are going to be serial wedding attendees this wedding season. I know we have lots of weddings to go to, lots of outfits, jewelry, blah blah blah, shoes, bags, tikka, so many things we women have to sort of go through, deal with, um, and it it does kind of you know become very confusing when you have to decide five functions on this side, six functions on this side, back to back weddings. So I am here with a very special lookbook video. So I'm going to take you through a few looks that are not just plain old lehengas and anarkalis, and I hope you like them. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. And please leave me your comments on this video, what more you'd like to see, and any ideas you have for the lookbook as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you today is going to be a very flowy, beautiful outfit by Priyal Prakash, uh, who's one of my favorite designers. She does a lot of geometrics, and this outfit is. Going going to be a kind of a cross between a lehenga and an anarkali um, so i'm just going to go get changed into that and i'm going to show you how you can style that for a sangeet function that you're attending all right this combination of fuchsia and orange is one of my favorites and i think it's a timeless combination when it comes to dressing up for an indian wedding and that's why i chose to pair it with some timeless gold jewelry this was actually my grandmother's wedding jewelry and it's been passed down the generations and why I think it goes perfectly with this is because Priya's outfits are all about geometrics and so is this beautiful jewelry piece. For a wedding function, I recommend this beautiful mint and hot pink raw silk lehenga from Nikasha, who's another one of my favorite designers. It's got loads and loads of beautiful handwork on it. And I've paired this with stunning polki jewelry, which I designed myself and got made from Manohar Lal Jewelers. If you're attending a lot of wedding functions, chances are that one of them would be a youngsters or a bachelorette party or a Sunday brunch. And for that, I totally recommend this beautiful, elegant and understated white dress. For a reception function, it's best to be understated and that's why I picked out this very unusual colour combination of grey and gold from Shamna Ryan Prasad and paired it with simple diamonds. So these were my suggestions for the outfits you can rock this wedding season, especially if you don't want to get into the whole sari game or if you're bored of wearing lehengas and anarkalis all the time. So this is a nice mix of the kind of outfits you can do, a nice combination of light and heavy. Uh, but most importantly, I wanted to share some practical tried and tested tips with you guys, which uh, often tend to get overlooked when you're shopping for the wedding season. Number one is uh, choosing the right material. Now, there are obviously thousands of materials that you can pick up but here's one thing from personal experience that you don't want to choose something which is like a very thin silk because even if it's a winter wedding you are going to sweat a lot uh, when you're dancing especially so especially for the Sangeet make sure that the fabric you're choosing is slightly thicker because um, a proper silk will show huge sweat marks and that's not something you want. The second tip that I had for you is quite an obvious one but still uh, fashion ke chalte we try we tend to overlook that and that is footwear because bad footwear can really break your evening it can make you so grumpy and I'm telling you this from personal experience so make sure that you you know especially for functions like the Sangeet you wear wedges platform heels so that you're at least comfortable through the evening so pencil heels for functions that are going to last you for five hours in my opinion is a no-no if you're comfortable great um, and the third suggestion I have for you is to make sure that you have a balance in your makeup so if you're doing heavy eyes make sure you go for nudish lips if you're going for a pop of color in your lips make sure your eyes are understated you don't want to look like a Christmas tree so don't go over on the jewelry and the makeup so if you're playing up one aspect of your look then make sure the other aspect of your look is muted so that's it that was my lookbook for the wedding season i hope it was helpful for you make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and keep coming back for lots more thank you guys